Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Day. Hope you liked the Uganda episode. Get your Geography Now merch like this mug at geographynow.com. Not selling out if it's your brand. All right, I know these videos don't get as many views as the others, but don't mind making them because it's all about following that format. Anywho, some things we forgot to mention in the Uganda episode. Did you know that C-sections were performed here in antiquity? In the 1870s, a medical missionary by the name of Robert William Felcom observed the Kahura tribe in what was at that time the Katara Empire performing c-sections on women they used herbal mixes to heal the wounds and they used alcohol as an anesthetic Let's see what else do we have here there was actually a scheme in 1903 theodore herzl who proposed settling east africa in what is now uganda as a settlement for the jewish population creating a new jewish homeland but uh yeah plans were scrapped never happened but east africa was considered in any case lots of other fun facts we forgot if you want to write them in the comments please feel free to do so otherwise we got to move on so without further ado I had so much fun filming the Uganda episode with Kimmy and Paihan. It was great. I actually really liked that. Uh, I really wanted to put that, uh, you know, that discourse that they had about the whole Idi Amin thing. I thought it was really important to put that in the episode. In any case, uh, they're both musicians. Feel free to follow them if you want. P.S. The Rebels, Kimmy Katiti. Paihan actually sometimes puts Swahili lyrics in his music. That's your jam. Go for it. But what else is our jam on these episodes? Uh, the flag. So let's jump into the flag, shall we? The flag is a banner made up of six horizontal bands of three alternating colors, black, yellow, and red. In the center of the flag is a white disc emblem containing the national bird, the gray-crowned crane, known for its gentle and graceful nature. The colors of the bands each have their own meaning. The black stands for the native people of Uganda, the yellow stands for the African sunshine that falls upon the land, and the red stands for the brotherhood of Africans, oftentimes saying that they are all connected by blood. So, uh, technically, it's not a blood of those who fight for the freedom, but it's a blood that connects brotherhood, so yeah, Uganda, blood, brothers, you get the point. Prior to this, they were under the British using the British Union Jack flag with the emblem on it that also had the gray crown crane. They pretty much used that up until they got independence. So there you go. And uh, speaking of the gray crown crane, let's talk about the coat of arms. Shout we. The coat of arms has a shield in the center and on the shield, you can find blue waves representing the waters of Lake Victoria and Albert. Also, you can find the sun, which represents the brilliant rays of the sun the country enjoys. Under it is a a traditional drum used for dancing and summoning people from meetings and events and ceremonies, but it is also a symbolic image that stands for the country's former royal families and monarchs. From there, the sides of the shield are flanked by the national animal, the gray-crowned crane, and the Ugandan cob, both representing the abundant wildlife of the country. The animals and shield are standing on a green mound with blue and white streaks representing the Nile that starts in the country, and on each side of the river are one of the two main cash crops, coffee and cotton. Finally, at the bottom lies the national motto in English for God and my country. And since independence, this has pretty much been the only coat of arms they've ever had. And keep in mind, Uganda was actually the very first country to use the lenticular shaped shield or the traditional African shield in their heraldic coat of arms. Soon afterwards, other countries like Kenya followed. So yeah, Uganda likes to keep it traditional and Ugandan. Gotta love that. So there you go. That's the flag and coat of arms. Fun stuff. Now you know what that means. It's time for G A G R A Fan Mail time. All right, guys. As, as you know, we always, hey, it's Tarchin. We have a guest star, it's Tarchin, but uh, Tarchin is also associated with another thing. Hey guys, what's going on? This guy, Art, you guys know him. Art, how you been, by the way? It's been a while. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time. Paul, you know me. I'm good, bro. Tarchin, man, you are just craving attention. I can't, I have no fingernails and I broke my pinky. Oh, sh you did. What happened to your pinky? I was like holding the, a box and like I slipped and I fell like, like sideways on my pinky. You didn't even go to the doctor? No. Nah. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, I got a lot of your Christmas cards. Also, uh, JJ, he sent each cast member an LA hat. Uh, you get one, Art. There you go. And Hannah and Ian, even Gab's got one. You're really into this today. Wow, usually you just sleep in the corner, but oh, yeah, he... he... <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from Samarkand. Ooh, Uzbekistan. Interesting. Hey, Barb's Noah and team. I guess you're a Noah fan. We enjoyed the Turkmenistan episode and are waiting for the Uzbekistan episode. Fun fact, most of the cars we've seen in Samarkand are white Chevrolets. Scott. Orville. Belgium, ah, interesting. Happy New Year, all the best in 2023. Alec oh, Alexia and Alexandra. Oh, right, right, right. These people have sent us so many postcards. Oh, I gotta meet you guys in person sometime. Uh, Panama from Diego. We've been traveling through Central America 
Africa. I intended to visit Nicaragua, but was denied boarding for not having a yellow fever vaccine. Wow, I didn't even realize they required it. Okay, cool. Dear Barb's mom, etc. I live in Staten Island. Your friend. Christine? We got a letter. It's from Mexico and it's a guitar, but it broke. It's a magnet. It broke. That's okay. I'll, I have super glue. Hey, Barbs. Uh, my name is Ben. I live in Indianapolis, but my family visited Mexico in November. Uh, do you think Keith would like to visit? I think Keith would love Mexico. Keith is... I could see him partying down there like crazy. <laughs> oh, this is a Hello Kitty postcard from Japan. Oh, that fits you well. Yes, it does. Happy New Year, Geography Now. This is a Japanese New Year's card. I always enjoy your videos, especially the fan Friday ones. Ooh. Ooh, baby, baby. You actually watch these, okay. That's right. I hope you all have a great year. Cheers. Oh. E.M.? Like, oh. I guess her name is maybe oh, M. Emily. Like maybe M. Emily. Yeah. Emily, maybe. Uh, it says, hi, Paul. How are you? I hope you're fine. My name is... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> there's coins in here. Uh, you took me out of my zone. <laughs> hey, Paul, how are you? I hope you're fine. My name is Luca. I also send you the flag of the region of Italy where my grandpa was coming from, Abruzzo, uh, an old D mark coin from West Germany. Thank you so much, Luca. This is so cool. These um, coins. Yeah, yeah. This is from the UK, Gibraltar. Uh, Barbs and gang, we love your episode on the British territories. Just We just happened to be in Gibraltar. Uh, it feels like Monaco got married to the UK, but got on a little fling with Spain. That's what you, how you describe Gibraltar. It's from Dubai. Museum of the Future. Ooh. I'm Jamie from Mexico. I'm writing you from the World Cup in Qatar. Yeah. And that must have been a really cool experience. Please keep making Fan Flag Friday videos. Thanks. I love how you also pronounce it flag. That's how I used to pronounce it when I was in Minnesota. That's how we say it in Washington, I guess. That's how you say it. Flag. <laughs> <laughs> what? Remember the Samoa episode you said daggers? <laughs> <laughs> like <that? laughs> Torchin, what do you want? You're such a crazy, needy puppy. I think he wants some of this food I have here. Oh. Oh yeah, my mom made Art some uh, Korean pancake. This is uh, actually from Geography Brian. I actually met you in uh, Peru. This is a snow globe of Cusco, and he got this for me in Lima when we and my mom had a 16-hour layover. You and your cousin were so awesome. You thank you for showing us around. Thank you for being the best host ever. Wait, hold on a second. Is that where the name of the llama came from? From uh, the Emperor's New Groove? Yes. Cusco? Yes, that is literally the name of a city in Peru. Holy crap, I never put those two together. Whoa, this is like really heavy. Whoa, the ambassador? The no. ambassador sent a letter? No, no it is way. Not. Is it? Yes, yeah, is the ambassador. What? Embassy of the United States of America, Slovakia. Dear Paul and friends. Whoa! My name is Abraham, and I'm writing this letter to you to thank you all for the content you have been making. I've been watching since the Bahamas episode. Back then, I was in the sixth grade, and now I'm almost 20 years old. Oh. So he's not the ambassador. Oh, no. He's, he's writing from the desk of the ambassador. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, maybe it's his dad or something. Or maybe he's just stole that paper. Did, did he steal <laughs> this? Did he steal this too? Maybe. I don't know. Are we going to get arrested? I, uh, under I'm not complicit. I, I I'm throwing you this. under the bus. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're like, okay. And I'm a U.S. Marine working out of the American embassy. Okay, so he's a U.S. Marine. Right. So and that's pretty cool. He's like protecting the ambassador or something. I don't know. That's pretty awesome. I'm sending you a challenge coin for my Marine security guard detachment that is so crazy this is like this is like a pound thank you abraham abraham thank you so much cheers thank you for your service we respect salute. you salute i got this from uh vietnam do you have any dongs in there <laughs> you're lucky that joke actually makes sense okay wow we got a lot of stuff here dried shredded chicken what dried. oh dude look coffee Dried uh, mangoes jackfruit yeah. chips ah uh, let's, love... let's eat these right now we love jackfruit yes what is it, the mango? Oh, okay, go for it. There is no letter. Is this the letter? Oh my wow. God. I don't know why they put sugar on mangoes. You know what I'm saying? Man, the Vietnamese customs is so complicated. Oh, dude, when I was in Brazil, I got a jackfruit off a tree. Thank you, person who sent all the Vietnamese stuff. Please email me if this was you. Dude, I really like this shredded chicken stuff. You think Tartan would like some of this? He probably, it's meat. It's like chicken jerky. Tartan. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's like jerky. It's like chicken jerky. This is from Washington State. I've been watching since France. Here is a flag of the Yakima Nation. Yakima Nation. That's like the like where all of the best fruits of Washington grow. You're from Washington, so yeah. I'm from Washington State. Look at you being all professional with the geography of Washington State. <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> hey, I'm praising you. I don't want your praise. <laughs> Red apple, nectar, berry, orange, and cinnamon soap. And here's an apple... Um, cutting board? Cutting board kind of thing. Holy crap, it's $25. That was $25? <laughs> yeah. 
Damn. Here, look, it's got a per I can slap you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's So for the USA episode, I really am considering visiting a lot of Native American reservations. Maybe we can make it up to the Yakima Nation as well. Uh, Taos, New Mexico. Enjoy the magnets and stickers. We've enclosed a letter. Hope to see you in Taos this year. Yeah, Art and I take road trips all the time to New Mexico, so. Yeah, we like we like New Mexico a lot. It's, uh, it's kind of a hidden gem of the US. Hey, Barbs and crew. My name is Owen Sacco, and I am currently attending Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington. Almost to USA. Everyone's so stoked on the USA episode. Seriously. It's so am I. We're all super excited about the USA. Insane. It's going to be great. Also, shout out to Art as my fellow Pole. Oh, cool, man. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. We're both Polish. This channel means a lot to me, and I bet it means a lot to so many others. It has become a community, not just a channel, and every day it grows. Josie from New York, every year around this time, she sends the same thing. I know what this is. She has a store in New York, and she always sends Lunar New Year stuff. And this year is the year of the rabbit. Happy New Year. This is uh, Chinese New Year. Uh, will be the year of the rabbit. There are some decorations and snacks for you. Oh, this looks highly unhealthy. Probably, but whatever. It's for Josie. Josie, this is for you. We're gonna get some calories you, for you. Thank you, Josie. It's good. Sweet. It's very buttery. A little bit of a nuttiness. Yeah, like a nutty sweet. A last box. Take it away, Art. Whoever sent this is from Michigan because it says a list of things to know about Michigan. So many cool things to know. Detroit has its own styles of hot dog pizza, the Coney dog. Detroit is also the birthplace of music genre Motown. Yes, it is. Things that were invented in Michigan. Automotive assembly line for Ford. Traffic lights, road lines, penicillin. Man, that, that was a good invention. Sour cherry preserves. Sour cherry preserves? The arsenal of democracy. <laughs> this, this is the side you don't see of Fan Friday. Like, there's so much stuff. Let me just show you guys. Everything on the side, <laughs> like. Francis Rose, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, for, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Francis Rose, thank you so much for uh, putting Michigan on the spotlight. But no, there's more to it than just Detroit. That's about it. We opened everything. Uh, Art, anything you want to say to the uh, subscribers before you head out? We all love you guys. We'll see you next time. We'll see you in the next episode. Say goodbye to the people. Yeah. Bye. Cheers, guys. Stay cool. Stay tuned.